G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Dust in the Wind by Kansas, which is an amazing finger picking song. For the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. So let's start with our finger picking basics. Your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. They ideally shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. Now let's start with the intro and there's two lines of tab here. We're going to start based around a C chord shape. Now I'm going to first teach you the finger picking pattern that you're going to learn. Now this finger picking pattern is used a lot throughout the song. So I'd encourage you first to really memorize this finger picking pattern, practice it over and over again on the one chord shape, and then you can move on and apply it to all the other chord shapes for the rest of the song. So our finger picking pattern goes like this, and there's seven plucks in total. We're gonna start with a pinch. So we're gonna start by pinching the bass note of whatever chord we have. For the C, it's the fifth string, and the second string at the same time. And then we have a six note run after it, which goes fourth, third, bass note, second, fourth, and third string again. So that run. And together with the pinch. Now, as I said before, I would encourage you to just play that finger picking pattern again and again in the one position. Just get it again and again until it's just second nature in your finger picking hand. Now notice that first pinch is held out longer than all the other notes. Alright, now that we've got the finger picking pattern out of the way, the rest is fairly simple because it's just variations of the chord shape. So we're going to go to a C major 7 after the first finger picking pattern. So we just lift out your next finger and play one finger picking pattern there. And then we go to C add nine. So you take your pinky finger, put it on the third fret of the second string. And back to the C. So in total for the C variation chord shapes. And then we're going to switch to A minor variation chord shapes. So we're going to start with an A sus2, so it's just the same as an A minor except your index finger is lifted. And we're going to keep on with the same finger picking pattern. And then with your pinky finger, put on the third fret of the second string. So this is an A sus4. And then A minor, and then A sus2. So the A variations in total. Now the second line of chords is very similar, except the order of the chords changes a little bit. So we'd start the C add 9, then to a C, then the C major 7, and back to C add 9 for the C shapes. For the A minor shapes, we go A minor first, A sus 2, A sus 4, and then we go back to our A minor. But that final A minor picking pattern is changed a little bit. The finger picking pattern's the same for the first three plucks, so we have the pinch and then the fourth and third strings. And then we're going to pinch again and then go to a G slash B like this and pinch those two strings. So that final A minor. And that's it for the intro which sounds like this in total.
We move on to the verse, which is quite simple. There's two lines of tab and we're continuing on with the same finger picking pattern. We have the C for one picking pattern, then we go to a G slash B like this for one picking pattern. So that first bar. And then we go to an A minor. Now this is where we're going to change our finger picking pattern a tiny bit. Instead of starting with a pinch of the bass and second strings, we're gonna start with a pinch of the bass note and first string, like that. And the rest is the same though. And then we're gonna stay on this A minor and then play it for another regular picking pattern. So that bar in total. And then we're going to go to a G, but you, you can just play a lazy G, so ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. So we have one finger picking pattern here, except the bass note is now the sixth string. And then we go to a D minor seven, which looks like this. Now our finger picking pattern again changes a tiny bit. We're gonna start by pinching the fourth and first strings together. And then our sixth note run goes third, second, bass, first, third, second, like that. So the third bar. Then we go to our A minor shape and we start with the alternative pinch, so where we pinch the first string and bass note together. And then our final bar is similar to what we had in the final bar of the intro. So it's the A minor picking pattern, but then we do the two pinches like that at the end. So the final picking pattern. That's it for the first line of tabs, which sounds like this. Then our second line of tabs is almost identical to the first line of tabs. The only thing we change is the final picking pattern. It's just a standard picking pattern on the A minor. We don't do the double pinch. So that's it for the verse, which sounds like this in total. Then we get to the first chorus, which is just one line of tab. It's quite simple. We're gonna start with a D slash F sharp. Now, I like to play it like this with my thumb reaching over the top to hit that F sharp on the sixth string. But you can also play it like this if you want to, but I prefer doing it like this. Now, we're gonna play this for one picking pattern and the bass note here is the sixth string, so it sounds like this. And then we're going to go to a G shape, so we can just play a lazy G for one picking pattern. Then A minor. And then A minor slash G. So take your pinky finger and put it on the third fret of the sixth string. And that is now your bass note. So the first two bars. For the third bar, it's identical to the first bar. For that final bar, we're going to play an A minor sus two, but we're gonna hammer on our index finger to a normal A minor on that first pinch. And then we play a typical finger picking pattern after that, but we're gonna lift our index finger after that first pinch. Then we're gonna pinch again and hammer on our index finger. And then go to a G slash B and do one pinch there. So that final bar. So the first chorus in total. For 
the second chorus is almost identical. We're just playing the first three bars there and not that fourth bar that we had in the first chorus. And then we get to the bridge, which is really cool. There's one line of tab here that just gets repeated over and over. Now we're gonna start with a shape like this. So ring finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, index on the fifth string of the third string. We're gonna play two picking patterns here in this shape. For our next position, our fingers just swap strings. So now index finger is on the fifth fret and ring fingers on the seventh fret. We're gonna play this for two picking patterns. And then slide this shape down two frets and play this for two picking patterns. Final bar, your index finger will actually bar across the third fret. I'm going to play this for one picking pattern. And then lift it again and have that open second string. And that's it for the bridge, which sounds like this in total. That bridge just gets repeated over and over and over again. And after that bridge, we're going to play the intro again. After the intro, there's another verse and then there's another chorus. For the final chorus, we just keep repeating the D slash F sharp, G, A minor and A minor slash G. So there's nothing really new to learn there in the chorus. It's the same stuff, just extended. And the final thing we need to learn is the outro, which just fades out the song. So the outro starts with an A minor. Now our finger picking pattern here changes. This is going to be a bit tricky so you're going to sort of have to retrain your brain to play a different picking pattern after playing the same one for basically the whole song. So we start with the pinch, hold that out and then we go fourth, first, bass note, second, fourth and first. So. So that's for the A minor. Then we're gonna lift out your next finger, so A sus two. We're gonna start with a pinch on the fifth and second strings. And then we're gonna pluck fourth, first, bass, second, fourth. And then with your pinky finger, third fret of the second string and pluck that. So the second half of this bar. And the first bar in total. And then with our pinky here, we hold that there. Our index finger will push onto the first fret of the first string. For this next bar, we're pinching the bass and second strings. And then we go fourth, first, bass, second, fourth, and first strings. So that final bar. And that's it for the outro, which is repeated over and over. And it sounds like this on a loop. And you just play that until this song fades out. Those are all the parts of this song. Now again, I do encourage you to first start by memorizing that finger picking pattern, that main one that's at the start of the song, and just practice it again and again on the same chord shape. Once you've got the finger picking pattern down with your finger picking hand, then you can start learning the chord shapes and the form of the song. So now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Now I will note that I'm playing this playthrough at a slightly slower tempo than the original recording so it's easier for you to follow along. The finger picking pattern is quite fast in the original recording so as always I recommend that you start a bit slower and then work your way up.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarzerohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It means the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.